Hello, I'm Andrew Walsh and I'm going to talk really briefly about some of the ways I've used challenge cards in my work. First of all, I need to acknowledge that I was inspired by sneaky cards and they're plate forward challenge cards which are way cleverer than anything I can do. They encourage people to do a challenge and then to pass on that challenge card in the hope of keeping play going and spreading out from the start point. So, I've used challenge cards a couple of ways. Firstly, in the workplace. Like most organisations, we tend to have people complain about poor communication and not knowing what's happening elsewhere in the organisation. We're also compartmentalised into lots of different teams and offices with limited mixing between them. So, I tried putting challenge cards on everyone's desk on a weekend, asking them to do fairly easily challenges that involved going into offices and talking to people they wouldn't normally interact with, so breaking down some of the barriers and mixing up people in a playful way. The second significant way I've used challenge cards is for new students, where we want them to gain a sense of belonging to the institution, to feel comfortable using the spaces, and to increase social bonding between these students. So, their challenges were completed in small groups, and involved doing things like playing simple games, and taking selfies across the campus. I also occasionally use challenges during workshops and I'm currently messing about with ideas of play pills to encourage playful activities, but that idea is still in development. So that's a quick idea of how I've been using challenge cards. Thank you for listening and goodbye.